Good morning, everybody. Okay, let's see if we can get me a little brighter. There, there we go. Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you could join me on this Memorial Day. As you can tell, I am on a field trip. I am in uh, Iowa. No, I'm not in Iowa. I'm in Indiana. <laughs> I'm in Lafayette, Indiana, because I went to the uh, Indy 500 race yesterday. And so uh, because of that, I've been hanging out with a lot of testosterone, a lot of different mental mindsets. So, you know, we've been talking about last week and we're going to talk about for the next couple weeks how um, different mental mindsets. We've been working on the book Opportunity with Eben Pagan. And uh, hey, Kathy, great to see you. And a big focus of the book is looking at different mental mindsets and uh, looking at the world through so many different lenses. Because when you do that, it opens the whole world up. So what have I been doing? I've been hanging out with people and an environment which I normally wouldn't. You know, I've been surrounded by race fans and over the last couple of days by uh, people who are into competition target shooting and things along those lines. So the mental model we're gonna talk about today is how to stop being a jerk. You know, when you, the best way to learn mental models and to really get out of your own head is to hang out with people who do things that, that you normally wouldn't do. Hey, Bonnie, great to see you. Hanging out with people that look at the world through a whole different mindset. You know, what I've discovered from traveling, you know, around the world, from uh, visiting and hanging out with people who see the world in so many different ways, is that every mental mindset has a really, um, is, is a, has really great gifts from it. They've got gifts which get you thinking outside of your box. And every time you hang out with people who are different from you, who see the world different from you, who challenge your ideas, every time you get to know them as people, you become a better, cooler, more uh, well-rounded, multi-dimensional human being. So if you want to create the most opportunities in your life, you want to be creative. And how do you be creative? You get outside of your box. And how do you get outside your box? You hang out in places and with people that you normally would never, ever, ever do. And when you do that, you start to become the person you always wanted to be. So, <laughs> my suggestion today, your homework today is, in this short video, is to find one experience or one group of people or one person you wouldn't normally talk to and strike up a conversation. Get to know them. Don't choose the crankiest person around. Don't, you know, make this too hard on yourself. Remember, we don't do big challenges. We do medium challenges, so we'll be successful. Find somebody you normally wouldn't talk to and chat with them. Find out who they are, what they're interested in, and be sincere. Because people can tell if you're just trying to, you know, be a crab that's trying to take advantage of them. So be sincere, be nice, but get to know them. Find out how they see the world. Don't argue with them. Don't fight with them. Just acknowledge the fact that they see the world differently and look for the gift that they can give you. Look for the insight or the understanding that you might not have. Don't just go with the surface. Dig just a little bit deeper. Hey, Kathy Ann, dig just a little bit deeper into who they are. And that's been my most amazing transformational tool is everybody that gathers in my life. Everybody who has a different life experience, a different way of looking at the world, that's way outside of my norm. When you do that, that's how you become the coolest person you've ever met. And that's how you stop being a narrow-minded jerk. Because when we come together, when we connect with each other on a real human level, sincere, looking past all the surface stuff, and getting to know that we have different ways of looking at the world, but that's so cool, all right? Find one person or one situation you normally wouldn't experience and experience it today on this Memorial Day. Maybe the person standing next to you at the parade. Who knows? All right. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will be home soon. I'm still on field trip and um, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye. Woo.